Today we have with us Amit Sen Gupta, who was in the World Social Forum in Tunis, which has just concluded. Amit, there was a feeling that the World Social Forum is running out of steam, that not many people will come, there will be not too much enthusiasm. But the facts really were otherwise. There was a lot of enthusiasm, at least from the region that we saw, and it seemed to be a very vibrant forum. So what's your impression of the whole forum? Well, many people uh, were pleasantly surprised. Uh, and uh, many people said that after 2004, or maybe 2005, uh, this was the first time that uh, one had a forum where everybody uh, felt enthused, there was a lot of energy, uh, the logistics worked, but that's an aside. But what really uh, lent to the vigor and all that went into making the forum successful was really the local context, was really that it was happening in a region which in the last two years has seen such a lot of uh, things taking place, such, such a lot, lot of transformative uh, developments taking place. Now, uh, it's true that uh, there is a lot of dissatisfaction also in the region uh, where people, many people are saying they stole our revolution. That uh, a large number, especially of the young people who were part of starting uh, what happened in Tunis leading to Ben Ali's ouster or in Egypt uh, leading to the change in the regime. Uh, are unhappy about it. So, what also appeared true was they looked at, at the forum as a forum of hope. Also, the place where what led to the Arab Spring, those forces could be brought in, a fight against neoliberalism, fight against the kind of economic policies which have been, which have been pursued in these areas, and the fact that the current governments which have come in want to continue a lot of this forum. So, in some sense, a forum of resistance again? Absolutely. I mean, for example, one of the big debates now, now that's taking place in that region is the very big IMF loan that is being uh, now negotiated With Egypt. Uh, in that whole region, Egypt, oh. Lebanon, Syria, uh, uh, and uh, I think uh, Libya as well. So, uh, it's, it's a huge loan and, it's, uh, uh, and a lot of uh, left commentators from the region have said that it's going to tie down uh, the whole region into conditions that are probably more onerous than the old regimes were tied down to. So, that's the kind of, uh, if you're really looking at the economic uh, issues in the region, that's the ki kind of attack that's already coming in the region and uh, the uh, institutions of globalization really are looking at this as an opportunity. The, uh, change of regime, the relative instability also providing. So, that is the other is of course, the fact that today many of these uh, countries today have Islamist parties in government. Uh, in Tunis, in Tunisia for example, uh, unlike Egypt, uh, there is a left tradition that was somehow kept alive. The trade also unions. Also very strong trade unions. The trade movement. unions uh, and the trade unions were quite uh, very active. In fact, they were the main force initially at least in organizing the forum in Tunis. So, they were very visible with their flags, with uh, their slogans. Uh, uh, so, there is the tension uh, between the Islamists and the left was also being played out. And of course, the presence of the left was much, much larger inside the forum as well as in the la in uh, what you could see visibly in the marches. So, they also in a way adopted the forum After as Jokri Balad assassination. Precisely. So, uh, the last one and a half months the left has been on the streets and it, it, it was like it was almost the forum almost parts of it at least became a memorial to Chokri Balad. The, the closing march uh, it was uh, in Brazil, uh, we used to say that the most uh, prominent uh, sort of picture that you see in the march was Che Guevara. Now, here it was Chokri Balad. The march was full of uh, uh, placards showing his picture. And uh, so, that was the kind of, uh, uh, kind of issues that lent a, a vitality that went beyond this being just a forum of debate to becoming a forum of resistance and change. And the other thing that was very clear was the participation of young people, boys and girls in very large numbers. The students were out there in big numbers. In fact, uh, uh, Tunisia has had uh, university uh, elections 
and the left has done remarkably well in that uh, uh, in these elections and in fact the Islamists got less than 20 percent of the seats so that's also something that was reflected in the in the numbers of young people students who are out in the streets holding up uh, I mean totally unexpected at least for somebody like me who's, who wouldn't know that region so well uh, that in the closing march you had huge groups of young people marching with Chokri Balad along with Lenin, Fidel, singing the international all the way to the Palestinian embassy. So this was a, this in a way captured what the forum was about. The other thing in Tunisia, and of course this is not really only the forum, but also the Tunis issue, is that there is an attempt by Salafists or the Wahhabi kind of Islam to impose a different kind of Islam than is practiced in Tunisia in terms of even Islam. They have burned mosques, they have you know, attacked mazars and so on. So is that also a part, did that debate also come up within the social forum? Well, uh, part of it, yes, inside the forum uh, it did. But much of it was played out in the streets. You could see the tension uh, in the marches and in the various gatherings that took place outside the forum because the central square, the main street, you always had something happening. And there were uh, this constant undercurrent of tension between the Islamists and the left. Uh, left and secular. Left and, yeah, the left and secular. But uh, uh, so there was an expression of uh, this uh, throughout that you could see. Last point. <coughs> there has been a lot of debates within the World Social Forum. What should be the role of the IC? What should be the direction of the forum? And so on. So has anything been resolved on that? Are, are we sort of still thinking on these issues where to go? considering that you and I have both been active in the social forum quite some time. Well, none of these issues were really resolved and one did not expect that they would be resolved in one meeting of the council. But uh, if you really look at the main uh, issue today, uh, or probably two issues. One is related to the forum itself. In the traditional areas where the forum was strong, Latin America and uh, Europe, and to an extent in India for a, a short period. Now, in all those areas, you see the interest around the forum seeming to start waning. Uh, much of that would also have to do with the internal issues in those regions, not just with the forum itself. But there are issues about the forum itself, uh, which probably is not making uh, participation in the forum as attractive as before for large movements. So movements, it's not as if movements are today hostile uh, from these regions to the forum, but they do not want to invest what as they were uh, earlier, right through the middle of the uh, uh, last decade. Uh, so that's one part of it. But at, at the same time, new areas have opened up where traditionally they were not part of the initial forum process, but where you find a lot more interest in the forum and the, uh, the, the West Asia, Maghreb, Mashrek uh, regions are, are actually best examples of that. And in many of these places, the forum is often seen as a place for expression of democratic, secular and left politics, which otherwise in their societies, at least till two years back, it was very difficult to openly, uh, openly be able to uh, work in that manner for mass organizations to actually articulate. And in fact, if we go back to what we saw in Pakistan in 2007, a lot of people said that this was a liberated area where in Pakistan, only place where you could speak out against the army uh, openly. We saw that in Bangladesh, for example, uh, in the Asian Forum a year and a half back. Much larger interest, much more energy than we have seen in India in the forum in the last four or five years. So new areas are really opening up and the challenge before the forum is to adapt and make the forum more friendly for such new areas to join in the forum and not necessarily concentrate on traditional areas where the forum has been earlier uh, active. So paraphrasing that, what you're really saying is that the forum has a purpose and a place and it we have to consider that this can move with time. Absolutely. And this is what, for instance, helped Latin America at one point. 
even helped Indian movements at one point. But after a certain time, maybe the forum is not the only place for movements to come and do things. Once it has fulfilled that purpose, it needs to move on to areas where that purpose still remains. Shall we say that that could be considered as where the forum should really be looking for? Should be looking to yes, clearly. I mean, in, in terms of uh, how the forum should uh, strategically look at newer areas to move on to. At the same time, I think the forum also needs to, and that's an unresolved issue and needs to be debated further. And I don't know whether it's going to be resolved ever. Is how the forum becomes an arena for building struggles. Uh, today, uh, it's a it's an issue that has not been adequately addressed. There have been attempts. It's not as if that there is no recognition that this is an issue today. Uh, but in 2003-2004, we saw the large anti-war prote pr uh, protests on the Iraq issue, the uh, protests to derail the Cancun WTO process being discussed inside the forum. But since then, somehow that has that is not happening at that scale. There is some mobilization in the forum in tr on the climate issue of trying to come together on the climate. Climate issue, issue water privatization yes, and but, so on. But the kind of global protests that really had a lot of traction inside the forum, and in fact, many of them were planned inside the forum, that's not happening. And that's what movements are today looking for. Uh, that's what attracted them to the uh, to the uh, forum, uh, the l big uh, uh, movements. So that's a ch challenge that still remains uh, for the forum: how to make the forum space, open space, more friendly for movements to come and forge their alliances and forge struggles. So no easy answers, but not a dismal picture as one might have thought before the forum that things are really the World Social Forum has perhaps become passe. Not that as yet. Oh, oh yes, the five days of the forum really changed uh, <laughs> a lot of people's minds about uh, the utility of the forum and whether the forum shall survive. Thank you very much. And as the World Social Forum continues its march to whatever new destination, we'll continue to follow the news click. Thank you very much. Thank you.